the core skills on the Affinity Photo Workbook. At the moment we're starting on page 100, Adjustments, Changing the Brightness and Contrast of a Photograph. Let's look at their example. I'll import it from the cloud and the image we want is the adjust, Adjustment Brightness and Contrast. There we go there. Now you'll find this is slightly different, well they all are, slightly different to the to the um, desktop version because in the workbook it shows you a panel with some preset adjustments. If they exist on the iPad, I haven't yet found them. So we've got the file open. Now on the adjustment panel, which is over the side here, you can see the three the three little dots in the square box. Well, actually, I can show you that by holding the question mark down. There's the Adjustment Studio, and that's the one we want. Adjustments. Now, you can show it in that type of panel or toggle list mode where it's that type of panel. Now, the one we want is the brightness and contrast. A little easier to find there. But it doesn't show you, as it says in the workbook for the desktop, it doesn't show you the little um, thumbnails. What it does is show you down the bottom here. You can see down there. Um, let's just take that off again. It shows you the sliders. Now drag the brightness slider, which is on zero, but we'll put that at 10%. Now you can drag it or you can type in 10%. You can see it down there is 10%. I typed it in but it didn't work. I must have, I'm, I'm using the wrong pencil here. Drag the contrast slider to 100% for a more punchy image. You can see it sliding up there. Mm, that's going to take all day. Let's try the numbers. Get rid of that, put in 100, click on OK, click on OK, and there you can now see it's 10% and 100 on the bottom layer there. You can see the image is quite a good deal more punchy than it was. The original image is quite faint. Now check your layers panel, you will see uh, that it's a non-destructive adjustment layer has been added. This means you can modify adjustment settings by double clicking at a later time in the book if you're on the desktop or remove the adjustment all without destroying the underlying image. So let's have a look. There you are. There's your adjustment layer and the image itself is the background. Let's turn that layer off and you can see you're back to the original image which does look a bit, hmm, a bit raw file-ish. Now there's your adjusted level. Much nicer. Let's just turn that off. Now the next example will be changing the colour image. But that's it for adjustments.